December the 9th, 2018. Guys, a quick video. If you remember a few months ago before they took down my YouTube channel, BP Earthwatch, I did a video called The Christmas Comet, and uh, the comet is supposed to be at its closest approach to our planet in one week on the 16th. But they're already getting reports from around the world that uh, 46P Waterman is now visible to the naked eye. And this is Peter Horlick. He said, I saw it just barely from the countryside uh, in the Czech Republic. Now, in a city, guys, you're going to have more trouble because you're going to have light pollution. He said it was rather dim and diffuse, but uh, I'm sure it was there. He set up his Canon 6D digital camera for a warden and selfie, and the 30-second exposure easily captured the comet's green color. You can see it in the circle here. It's amazing. So we still have seven days before this comet makes its closest approach. They're saying it is shining like a big fuzzy star of fifth magnitude in the constellation Eridanus. Its faint glow is easily overwhelmed by city lights, but under the dark skies of a rural landscape, the comet may be seen without any optics. The view will improve in the nights ahead. Comet 46P is nearing Earth for one of the ten closest Earth comet encounters of the space age. At closest approach on December the 16th, the green comet will be nicely positioned in the constellation Taurus, for easy viewing by observers in the northern hemisphere, and its brightness could be three to ten times what it is now. Use the sky maps to plan your comet selfie, and they're giving you the locations from December 9th through the de through December uh, 16th. But remember, you're still going to have a week after that as the comet is pulling away. I have seen these comets multiply their speed by 10 times after they pass the or orbit of Mars. I've seen them coming in at a th million miles per day, but as they reach that close approach to the sun, which creates a slingshot effect, I have seen them speed from a million miles per day to 11 million miles per day, very fast, and that creates a tremendous pressure on these comets. We've seen ice sun break apart into millions of pieces. Didn't hit the sun, but the strain was so intense that it uh, couldn't help it. This, uh, we don't know what will happen with it yet, but we do know that it's going to be one of the very best as far as uh, naked eye visibility. Let's look at December 9th. Now, this is tonight, uh, December 9th, at 11 p.m. local time. It is 7.45 as I'm doing the video. It will probably be closer to 8 before it's launched. But you can see here is Werdemann. You got uh, Eridanus here, but Taurus is above it, Gemini, Orion, Aries. Remember, by the 16th in one week, it will be closer to Taurus. But this is looking south. Guys, you know which way south is. The sun rises in the east east and sets in the west and skipping ahead to the 16th when it's closest to our planet you can see that it is now between the pleiades and the taurus constellation looking south again at 11 p.m local time december 16th so what you're seeing is starting in this location to the left of uh, the listing of cetus waterman will drift just like this to this position it will continue to move in that direction, and it will still be visible to the naked eye as it moves away. Guys, this is going to be interesting, closest approach to our planet in the space age. This thing could really turn out to be uh, an amazing spectacle in the night sky. Guys, if you get images, send them to us. You can post them straight onto our website at bpheadlinenews.com. Just go there. Go into the comment section, hit link, and put your video, excuse me, your image there. We would appreciate it. The whole world would enjoy it, guys. But we're watching it. You watch it. It's a heads up. Be safe.